One of the hardest parts about removing the glass screen on an iPad is the leftover shards of glass all around the outside edge. My name is Zach from the YouTube channel Jerry Rig Everything, and here on iFixit, today we're gonna attempt several different ways of removing this glass. One important thing, remember your eye protection. So the first tool that we're gonna try is just this generic metal spudger. It's got two different ends on it. As we try to scrape off the sides of the glass on the iPad, we can see that the glass just kind of sputters off in every direction. The adhesive is holding it very securely onto the metal frame. So the next tool we're gonna try is just the metal razor. It's got a super thin edge on the tip of it hoping to get underneath all of the glass and the adhesive at the same time. So we'll have less sputtering as the glass comes off the iPad. And so far it looks a little bit neater than just the thicker metal spudger, but we still have some glass popping off in every direction. One of the main issues though with this razor blade, since it is a sharp piece of metal, you have to watch out for the individual components like the buttons and the Wi-Fi cables as you're scraping along because it's very easy to slice through any of the sensitive ribbons along the edge. So the third tool that we're gonna try is this iFixit eye opener. It's all warmed up now in the microwave and it's actually very, very warm. We're gonna see if it'll soften the adhesive underneath the glass so when we lift it up with the razor blade, it doesn't pop off in every direction. One of the perks of using this iFixit eye opener tool is that the heat is very concentrated in one area. So it doesn't get as hot as say a heat gun will, but it's also making sure that the heat doesn't spread over all of the internal components like the batteries or anything else fragile inside of this. So now that we've lifted off the eye opener, we'll see if the glass comes away any easier. Looks like we still have a little bit of glass popping off but it's coming off in relatively one piece, still attached to the adhesive, which is actually pretty convenient. But already the glass is cool to the touch and the adhesive is hardening again because it's cooled down. Okay, so right now we're gonna try using a heat gun. So we're gonna use a lot of special care to make sure that the heat does not get onto the battery. We don't wanna warp that plastic casing at all. So using a little shield will help dissipate the heat off into other directions. And once the glass is just too hot to touch, you can take your razor blade, slide it underneath. Found the camera unit. This is actually coming up a lot easier than with the eye opener tool. It still manages to cool down pretty quick though, so you'll probably have to do this every 30 seconds. actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. So we've had some success using the heat gun to soften the adhesive underneath the glass so it doesn't splatter in every direction as we try to remove it. Now we're gonna try something from the opposite end of the temperature spectrum, dry ice. So instead of softening the adhesive, it's actually gonna make it more brittle. Dry ice is extremely cold, and if you don't use gloves, it can actually burn you because of how cold it is. One of the nice things about using this dry ice as well is that it's just, it's pure carbon dioxide. So as the mist comes off of it, it's actually not liquid, it's sublimating into a gas. So it's safe for electronics, it's not gonna liquid damage anything. So now that the dry ice has been on there for about a minute, cooling down the glass, the frame, and the adhesive, let's see what happens when we take our razor blade to it. So as we can see, it's actually still pretty hard to remove the adhesive. So this particular type of adhesive doesn't seem to be affected much by the dry ice. It's actually still really strong holding the glass down. The dry ice probably works a little bit better with the optically clear adhesive between the glass and the LCD of iPhones, because that works to separate the two. But in this particular case, the adhesive around the frame of an iPad is more affected by heat than it is by cold. So the victor in this highly scientific iPad glass removal video is the heat gun. 
and the thin metal razor. 